Stop the daydreaming, Pancata. That floor ain't gonna mop itself, you know. Oh, sorry, Mr. Polaris. I guess they must have drifted off for a second. It won't happen again, sir, I promise. I'll get this floor done in no time. Here we are, fight night, and I got a panda pipe dreaming all over the joint. Mm. <laughs> mm. Fight night, fight night. Big deal. Who cares about some dumb old fight night? <laughs> 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 Hmm? You better watch yourself, Pancata. If the boss catches you goofing off again, you'll be daydreaming on the unemployment line. Boy, pandas. Mm -hmm. oh. Ladies and gentlemen, it looks like Sweet Bear is shaking off that pounding and is ready for more. Folks, this fight ain't over yet. It's a battle of the bears, and I gotta tell ya, Sweet Bear is looking pretty sweet up there. Everyone's wondering if Sweet Bear's got the goods to strip free Teddy of his title. As you know, Teddy hasn't lost a fight in two years. This could be the night that anything happens. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, talk about your rope up, ladies and gentlemen. Can this mean victory for Sweet and defeat for Teddy? I'm afraid we have all too clear an answer, folks. It's another victory for Teddy Thunders, and that would make his 45th in a row. Isn't that exciting? I don't believe it. He's killing me, this guy. He wins every time. That's why no one comes to the fights no more. It's a joke. There's no suspense anymore. Everyone knows he's going to win. Freak Teddy is putting me out of business, I tell you. Yeah, sure. Just like when you were fighting Polaris. No one could beat you either. You were champ for three years until you retired and opened this place. What I wouldn't do to get back in the ring. I'd show that Thunder Chump a thing or two. Don't even think it. You get back in the ring and you lose the club. Don't forget, it's in the contract you signed. Yeah, I know. I'd lose the club as if you'd let me forget. <sighs> <clears throat> Can I get you anything, huh? Mr. Grizzlepuss? A Kleenex, perhaps? No thanks there, honey bun. I gotta settle up my bets here. Oh, man. That Teddy's really something, isn't he? He's all right. I mean, if you like him tall, tough, and muscly all over. Uh-huh. Boy, I tell you, that Teddy thunders. He may be a pain in Polaris's paw, but the girls go googly over him. Yeah, you said it. I wish they were googly over me that way. You know, I'm just not tough enough. But then, I don't like to fight. Ah, quit yanking my fur. Who are you trying to kid, Pancata? Uh, what I meant was, I love it! Oh, hmm? Teddy. He's so dreamy. How about this? The kid here doesn't like to fight. He thinks it's too violent. <laughs> no. Oh. Shouldn't you get back to work? I'm all done. The thing is, Mr. Polaris isn't exactly in the best of moods right now, and I was hoping I could ask to leave early. After all, it is pretty slow in here right now. Leave early? Why would you need to? It's not like you ever have a date. Who'd go out with you? <laughs> yeah, who is it? Uh, pardon me, Mr. Polaris. Yeah, Pancata, come on in. Well, sir, I was wondering if... I mean, that is, if you don't mind, I'd like to go home early tonight. Well, that depends. Did you finish cleaning the ring? Yes, sir. Silverware polished? Spick and span. Dishes all washed? Not many to wash, but they're done. Mm-hmm. Well then, no skin off of my back. It has been a pretty slow night tonight. We got nothing but slow nights lately. Place reminds me of a morgue. Go on, get out of here. Oh, Mr. Polaris, don't let it get you down. Business will pick up soon. After all, even Freak Teddy can't win forever. Two years, <laughs> Pancata. Two years he's been the champion. And as long as he stays at the top of the heap, this joint will be on the bottom. Well, he is very popular. Sure, Thunders might have been popular when he started out, but we're talking two years. The public is fickle, kid. Who wants to go to a boxing match when the same goopy guy keeps winning? 
Problem is, there's no one good enough to challenge him. I bet you could give Freak Teddy a run for his money. Sure, I could knock that overgrown furball out in two rounds flat. Well then, why don't you jump in the ring and challenge him, Mr. Polaris? No can do. When I inherited this club, I retired from the ring. Aw, oh, gee. What a cry and shame. Well, them's the breaks, kid. You see, I got other fish to fry these days. I wish I could help somehow, but I really don't know much about it. That is, boxing, I mean. Huh? But you must have watched loads of matches while you were working here. Well, uh, to tell you the truth, I've never been much of a boxing fan. I find it a little too violent. It's just not my thing. I pretend to like it. <laughs> so you pretend, huh? That's right. It's all an act, sir. That's it! That's it! What's it, Mr. Polaris? You just gave me a great idea, kid! So sorry I'm late, Master Jin. Please go put on the proper attire for chanting the mantra. You're interrupting my meditation. You see, I was chatting with my boss at the club, and before I knew it, I was... Make it snappy. Yes. Right away, Master Jin. I swear I won't be late again, I promise. Hmm. <sighs> ah. Hmm? Hmm. Your mind wanders all over the place. Me? Wander? Of course not. Too much confusion can make you seem mentally unstable. I think you are unstable. What's weighing you down? Well, you know, I've always been a little pudgy. <laughs> That's not what I meant. What burdens your mind? Well, there's this girl. We work together down at the club, see? And I think she's really neat and everything. But she doesn't even know I exist. To that girl, I'm just a loser. Hmm, I see. To make a woman hmm? notice you, you must show her you value yeah. loyalty. Loyalty? Loyalty? How so? Show that I'm, like, sincere and be a Mr. Dependable dude and stuff like that? Yes, that's all good and fine. But you must also show her that loyalty has value. Ah, yes. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> you're talking about the value of money, right? Mm, that's kind of complicated. I don't earn a whole lot. No, what's wrong with you? Are you really that stupid? I'm talking about what's inside. That is your essence. My essence? Quiet, Pancada. Empty your mind of all your worldly and material thoughts. Mm. Hmm. My essence? Oh, he must be talking about my cologne. Are you nuts? You called me, Mr. Polaris? That's right, Pancata. You gave me a great idea the other day. I gave you a great idea? Me? Yep. And today's the day we're gonna put that idea into action. Yeah? Yeah, I present to you the Great Bear of Mystery. <laughs> You know, I think maybe you've been working a little too hard, Mr. Polaris. I'm not Polaris. I am the Great Bear of Mystery. Be very afraid. At least, that's what I want you to call me as long as I'm wearing the suit. Yeah, but I'm not sure I'm catching on, Mr. Polaris. It's simple, Pancata. This solves all our problems. I ain't allowed back in the ring without losing the club. But the Great Bear of Mystery can fight all he wants and no one's the wiser. I don't know. Something smells funny. Ah, don't be so negative, kid. No, I really mean it. Something smells like an order of chicken and broccoli with a side order of feet. Now that you mention it... Oh, it's me! I haven't worn this outfit since I had to get rid of my motorcycle. I'm guessing that was a long time ago? Here, kid. Give these a good washing. I want them nice and fresh for the fight. I'll stay here and plot the imminent demise of old Thunderbutt himself. That jerk. Aye, aye, sir. Hey, Pancata. Mm -hmm. Yes? This'll just be our little secret. You got it, sir. Hmm. Oh, and kid? Yep. Remember how much I'm counting on you now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Honey, good morning to you. What's so good about it? Are you so happy because you had a great night last night? Oh, that. I was... I, um, I was... I was... I was totally watching that awesome boxing match like everybody else was. Remember? Duh. 
I know that, silly. I mean, after you left here. Yes, after. Well, you see, I had to handle some personal private business. And uh, speaking of personal private business, I have to handle some personal business right now, privately, so I gotta go. Nothing personal. Sorry about that, and uh, I'll see you later, okay? Bye. Hmm. I swear that bear gets more strange every day. Pancada. Gee, honey, I was just, um, you know, it's funny you should ask that. Uh, I was just practicing various martial arts techniques. Yeah, yeah, yeah! You're kidding. Since when have you been into martial arts? Who, me? Let's see. Well, probably like months. I thought you told Mr. Grizzlepuss you hated fighting. I do hate fighting. I mean, like, stupid fighting. The kind lacking in proper form and technique. Wah! Hey, what's going on with the washing machine? Nothing. Just some whites. Hey, do I hear a thirsty customer out there or something? I didn't hear anything. Well, I think we ought to go upstairs just in case. I mean, you never know, right? who thinks he's got what it takes to beat Freak Teddy. Can you believe this headline? Masked Bear Challenges Freak Teddy? Lucky he's wearing a mask. That way no one will know who he is when he inevitably bites the stuff. I think he's a real coward. A real man would have the courage to show his face, even if he was a big loser. Well, I have a feeling he's not as big a loser as you think. What do you mean? You act like you know the guy. Well, no. I just think he deserves a fair shake, right? It's the right thing to do. <coughs> the guy's a loser, you know? He'll have his chance to lose like everyone else. Well, I mean, what if he doesn't? What if we actually get a new champion? <laughs> ah, you're yanking my fur again, ain't ya? <laughs> He's a very funny guy, this one. <laughs> Hmm? <laughs> He's not just funny amusing, Mr. Grizzlepuss. He's also funny peculiar. Hey, hmm. Pinkata! I want to see you in my office! This hmm? masked moron hasn't got a thing going for him. I tell you, people aren't going to put money on this guy. But what if Pinkata's right? <laughs> I wouldn't bet on that even if you gave me the money. Hmm. Well, Pankata, the night's the big night. That's right. It's made all the newspapers. Look at the headlines. Boy, I can hardly wait to put on that costume. Hmm? Mm. You did remember to wash my costume, didn't you, kid? Oh, don't you worry. I remembered all right. Nice and fresh and clean. All ready for you. <laughs> well, if it's so nice and fresh and clean, why aren't I wearing it, kid? Well, I tell you, I just have to press it, that's all. We don't want your beautiful costume all wrinkly on your big night. I'll go take care of that right away. Back in a jiffy. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
Looks like it shrunk a little. Well, could be worse, I suppose. I'm sure he'll be way too excited to notice anyway. In this corner, weighing in at over 800 pounds, the national heavyweight champion for two consecutive years, the dangerous, fabulous Freak Timmy! All right, come on, champ, yeah! And entering the ring, a brand new challenger, weighing in at 700 pounds, please welcome the Great Bear of Mystery! The only thing mysterious about this not-so-great bear is how long it'll take before he starts screaming for his mama. Folks, it looks like our competitors are ready. Gentlemen, please remove your robes and let the battle begin! Oh! I don't believe it! Could it be? It looks like Pancada! Nah, it can't be. He's over there mopping the floor. silly things this morning. You're right, that dopey kid must have a death wish. He couldn't possibly think he can beat Freak Teddy. insurance policy paid up, because I'm about to make mass mince meat out of you. I'm afraid you're mistaken, Thunder Chump, because your time is up. You gotta get down here, Arsini. Freak Teddy's getting his butt kicked all over the place. I haven't seen a brawl like this since Polaris the Demolisher ruled the ropes. Now this is worth buying a ticket. Oh my goodness, if only I'd known what a lick in this Teddy Chump was gonna get, I'd have put all my money on Pancada. Ugh. Ain't that panda something? I can't believe I never knew how dreamy he was. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the fight we could only have been dreaming about a year ago. Believe it or not, Freak Teddy may have met his match. Oh, I don't believe it. I just bought those fixtures last week. Ah. Folks, check out 
tonight we have witnessed one for the ages. A real shocker, my friends. The great bear of mystery has delivered the knockout punch heard around the world. Your execution was flawless. Your technique is totally mind-blowing. I just think you overreached a little at the end. I really don't know what to say. I just dance what I feel, you know? It's obvious to me that you have the talent. I just don't know if we have the room for you this time. I don't understand. I was doing so well. Dancing what you feel is all well and good, Mr. Pancata, but you can't do it at the expense of the choreography. But I only messed things up during that last part. Can't we just forget about that? Hmm? I think he has a very unique quality, not to mention a real richness of technique. His enthusiasm really speaks to me. I'll admit that his form at the early part of the dance really dazzled me. I have to disagree. I found the whole thing smarmy and half-baked. But I see a lot of raw talent that, given some time, could be developed with proper training. And in addition to everything else I've just said, Pancata, you'll be the first panda ever accepted into the academy. And won't that be a treat for you? No more leaping or we'll have to take disciplinary action. I'm very proud of you, Pancata. You move with the feet of fire. You shine like the night star. Very nice. Today, you dance with destiny. <sighs> but I beg you, I can't take any more leaping, silly bear. Pancata, totally sensational. Who'd have thought a sweet guy like you had it in ya? <laughs> Me? But how? Uh, I mean, I, I, I didn't know you were there. Oh, I was there, buddy boy, and I saw everything. I tell ya, that jump was the best part of it all. Sensational. I didn't know you could do stuff like that. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey now, if it isn't the man himself. You sure been holding out on us, kid. You're a gold mine. From now on, buddy, I'm betting on Pancata. Hmm? Mm. <laughs> wow. Maybe they really did see me dancing and I didn't know it. <laughs> Oh, dude, that totally rocks! I ought to be mad at you mm. for not telling me how talented mm. you are. Mm. Everybody's talking about it. You are just incredible, mm. Pancata. Well, I don't think it's that big of a deal, really. It's just something I picked up a while back, you know? I guess I always had a natural talent, and it was ready to blossom. I didn't think any of you folks would be interested. That's why I didn't say much about it before. Maybe I should have. Now I wish I had. <laughs> well, I think you are just a big stinker, and to show you how upset I really am with you, I'm going to have to give you a big kiss right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, that was unexpected. You know that I'm just... I'm just Pancata, right? The same old me, you know? <laughs> Don't be modest, you silly bear. Hmm? I think you are just one amazing <laughs> hunk of panda, you know that? Uh, I guess I'm pretty amazing. And it was really nice running into you. Well, I gotta get to work. I'll see you later, honey. You sure will, little cuddle bear. Wow. <laughs> Bye. Woo woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hey, back gotta mm -hmm. get over here, will ya? <laughs> so, did you hear about last night? Oh, sure. Everyone's been really nice about it. Are you nuts? Are you loco in the head? You're acting like you're the guy who beat Teddy. But it was me. That's what everyone thinks. But I know and you know that it was me. Even though everyone thinks it was you, which is funny because it wasn't you, it was me. What's this? 
Are you trying to take credit for Pancata's big night? Bad Mr. Polaris. Yeah, well, yeah, well, <laughs> what I meant was I trained Pancata. It's the truth. He learned everything from me. Oh, I understand. It's amazing. Just truly amazing. You're both an inspiration. But, boss, you and I both know you didn't train me. I was trained by someone named Master Jin. Pancata, are you losing your marbles? What are you giving me? Who is this Jin guy? Master Jin. See, boss, he's like my modern dance instructor. Dance instructor? Yeah, and my audition piece was awesome. I mean, isn't that what everyone's talking about? <laughs> you mean... <laughs> you thought I... <laughs> I was really talking about... <laughs> I thought I was going crazy. <laughs> Sorry, kid. <laughs> Ain't that a kick in the head? <laughs> You see, kid, I guess I really didn't know what you were talking about. <laughs> hmm. Hmm? Hankata, I misunderstood. I thought you were talking about the fight. Oh! <laughs> How could I forget? I was so freaked out about my dance audition that it didn't even cross my mind. How'd it go, boss? Did you win the fight? Not exactly. You won, kid. I mean, I won. You see, that costume you wore shrunk so bad, I didn't look like a polar bear. I looked like a panda. And let me guess, everybody thought it was me up there, right? You nailed it on the head, kid. And here I thought they were all excited about my dancing. Sorry, kid, I'm afraid not. So I guess we gotta tell Honey it was you that fought and not me. No can do. Everybody thinks you clobbered Teddy Thunders. They think you're the champ. Hmm? Hmm. We got no time for sulking, son. We gotta do is plan our next move. We gotta get ready for the next big fight, see? But boss, what's that got to do with me? Well, since Thunders wants a rematch, I gotta be you again, and you gotta help me. No! I had nothing to do with that fight, boss. That was you in that ring, not me. And I'm not about to let everyone think it was me when I know and you know it was you. Shh, keep it down. If anyone finds out, I'll lose the club. Ugh. Are you guys talking about something stupid or what? No, I mean, uh, as a matter of fact, we were just making plans for the next big fight. Right, champ? Oh, yeah, that's right. Absolutely there, coach. You bet. Hmm. <laughs> Hey, oh. what are you, hurt? Just, uh, getting old, that's all. Uh... Okay, here's the deal, Pancata. I do the fighting, and you get all the glory. Boss, I gotta be honest, this idea is way bad. Oh, come on, Pancata. Think about all the perks you'll get. Well, well, uh, it is nice. I mean, getting adoring fans is what it's all about, you know? I sense your mind is not on rehearsal. Hmm? Perhaps your mind is heavy with things other than dance. No, I'm fully committed, Master. Got my mind exactly where it should be. Hmm. Sorry, I think you're lying. Hmm? I think you're distracted. You know, I wasn't born yesterday. I guess you could say I had a pretty stressful day today. Just a wild guess, but does the stress come directly from that lady friend you spoke to me about a while ago? <clears throat> no. Maybe a little. <laughs> well, she's part of it anyway. I guess the good news is that she finally noticed me. <laughs> ah, I'm happy to hear you followed the tips I gave you regarding love. Hmm, but I must admit my surprise. I didn't really think it would work at all. <laughs> well, it's not because of that. To tell you the truth, the real reason the girl likes me is because she thinks I'm some sort of boxing champion. I didn't try to trick her at all, but she thinks I'm a champ. But you really are a champion. You just happen to be a champion of the dance. I saw it only yesterday. But she's digging the boxing champion, you know, like a fighter dude. I'm afraid it's a long story. It's all a big mix-up at the place where I work. They think I'm someone I'm not, and now I'm stuck being that someone, whether I like it or not. I think I understand. Now the nice lady likes you because she thinks oh. you're a big champion boxer. Yeah, and I don't know what to do. Pankata, you need to tell the truth to the lady. The truth will set you free every time. Take it from me. But you don't understand. If I tell the truth, Mr. Polaris will get into trouble. And I have to admit, I really do like it when all these folks make a fuss over me. Then perhaps, Pankata, you must honor the fuss your friends are making over you. If you discover that you like when your friends call you this big boxer fighter man, then you must become this big boxer fighter to honor them. Are you crazy, fighter me? No way, no way. I don't believe in violence, remember? You must fight or tell the truth to all. 
I can't. I... I... That's enough talk. Hmm? Perhaps we'll find the true answer through meditation. to see me, Mr. Polaris? Yeah, come mm. on in. Thunder's itching for a rematch with you, kid. But you mean already? I think he wants to wear that belt again before the fur grows back. But we don't want to rush into anything, do we, boss? The iron is hot now, kid. We got the public smack dab where we want them. We can't lose them now, can we? We gotta give them what they want, and fast! Now, if we're gonna pull this off, we gotta knuckle down and brainstorm. Mr. Polaris, as you know, I'm not much of a fighter, You but... really got nothing to worry about, kid. I'll be one in the ring, see? Well, that's exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> You see, I want to be the one to fight Teddy Thunders. What? Have you lost your mind, son? That's the craziest thing I ever heard. But I figured out I do like how it feels to be treated like a champ, Mr. Polaris. So that's why I want to be a real champ, you know what I mean? It's a matter of personal pride, you see? Kankata, you're not a fighter. You're a dancer. Leave the fighting to me. All I want you to do now is sign this challenge card. I'll sign it. <laughs> but I'm telling you, I'm the one who fights. Haven't you been listening? I'm not letting you near that ring, you got that? I fought Thunders the last time, I'm gonna fight him this time, and I don't want to hear any more from you. Mr. Polaris, I am prepared to blow the whistle to everybody, including the papers. Unless you unconditionally allow me to go into the ring against Teddy Thunders. One way, fairly and squarely. Bancada, you don't know what you're getting yourself into. It's too late, I've made up my mind. It's time for me to fight. It has been announced that former national heavyweight champ Frank Teddy and current champion Pancada will take to the ring once again for an exciting rematch. Pancada stated recently that he is very confident, while his challenger gritted his considerable fangs and called Pancada's success beginner's luck. I gotta say, for some reason, that Pancada looked much taller in the ring. Hey, Mr. Grizzlepuss. Looking forward to the big fight next week? I'm sure that Pankata's gonna draw in those crowds like a magnet. The guy's got major charisma. You said it. I always thought he was something special. All right, Pankata, listen up. The first lesson you're gonna learn today is how to defend yourself. Great. I'm ready. Hmm. <laughs> What are you doing, Pancata? You can't close your eyes. You gotta keep them open, see? So you know where your opponent is at all times. I never thought of that. Oh, this is gonna be a really long day. Hey! <laughs> 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 
You made me proud, Pankata. You have become a champion fighter. I believe that whether you come out a winner or take a horrible bloody beating. M maybe I shouldn't try to be a fighter after all. I'm a fool. What was I thinking? There's no way I can beat Teddy Thunders. Oh. Think of what you are doing as an exercise in Zen philosophy. Simply breathe, content to be. Mm. Mm. Maybe that Thunders guy would agree to a dance-off or something instead of a dumb old violent boxing match. I mean, I guess it couldn't hurt to ask. I don't look good with bruises. My face will even puff up if I wash it too hard. Pankata, the time for fear is past. You must face your destiny. Mm, yeah. You're right, Master Jin. Mm. Remember, if you fight like you dance, you can never go wrong. Like dance. I feel better already. I'm so dead meat. Mm. In this corner, weighing in at 800 pounds, formerly undefeated in 45 fights, he was the national heavyweight champion, and now tonight's challenger, the one and only, Fabulous Freak Teddy! And in this corner, we have the current reigning and undisputed national heavyweight champ himself, weighing in at, hey kid, you're not on one of those shake diets, are ya? He'll be shaking tonight. <laughs> As I was saying, the exciting new national heavyweight champion who needs no mask and no introduction, Hankata! <laughs> <laughs> Honey, I knew the turnout would be good for this fight, but you should see how many bets I took. What I've never seen so money? many customers I here. I've already made a week's worth of yeah. tips. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Pancata the fighter's a gold mine. <laughs> Remember what I told you, kid. Duck and weave. Duck and weave. I feel like having my protein bar. I wasn't even this nervous at my audition for the Dance Academy. <laughs> Ixnay on the nerves, kid. You know what to do. Now get out there and do it. Ladies and gentlemen, this doesn't seem possible, but could Pat Connor be KO'd in the first round? One, two, Three, four, five. Bankata, what do you think you're doing? Is this a frolic in the woods or a fight? Sorry, I think Teddy Thunder's damaged my cornea. Listen, kid. Hmm? You get in that ring, or I'll damage the rest of you, you hear me? Pip Squeak Panda, you went and made me angry. You shouldn't have done that. There goes my other eye. Time out! Somebody get him off of me! Ladies and gentlemen, I'm as surprised as you are. Where's the 
Patrick, where's the panache? Where's the pancata we know and love? Come on, pancata. I know you're not going to give up that easy. Give him the what for. Can't say I didn't see this coming. Always knew that kid was a loser. Yep. No. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Remember, if you fight like you dance, you can never go wrong. Mm -hmm. Hold on, folks. Something's <laughs> happening. It looks like Pancata's had a burst of energy. Perhaps this was his strategy all along. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, so that's it? Playing games, huh? Well, I'll show you two can play that game, but only one can win, Panda Punk! No! <laughs> one, two, three, and four, five, and six. Seven, eight, nine, ten! Folks, looks like Pancata's been knocked out cold by Freak Teddy, and Teddy has regained his title. Pancata's championship looks to be the shortest on record, with only one victory. The pudgy panda still appears to be out cold. Teddy is reveling in his opponent's defeat, while the disappointed crowd gets ready to go home much earlier than expected. Mr. Polaris, may I talk to you, sir? What's on your mind, Pancata? <laughs> well, sir, I, um... I was wondering if I could talk to you about the fight last night? I'd say it wasn't exactly a night to remember, was it, champ? That's just it. I wanted to apologize to you. It was all my fault. I'm the one who insisted on fighting. <laughs> I made a mess of everything, and I let everybody down. <laughs> How can you ever forgive me? Buck up, Pancata. That's all in the past. And believe it or not, things are looking brighter and brighter by the minute around here. Brighter, boss? Do my eyes deceive me? I may actually have lost all of my marbles, but something smells fishy around here. Remember when you were in training and I kept saying, I knew you could beat that overgrown furball? Sure, I remember. And then I went and fumbled everything all up. Well, I was lying. Hmm? I knew there was no way a tubby little panda could beat a monster like that. I only said those things to motivate you, that's all. But then this tubby little panda went and let everybody down. <laughs> I can't live with this constant torture any longer. <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh. But you just don't understand, kid. Everybody out there thought you were going to flatten Teddy Thunders for sure. I know. I was a big tubby disappointment. Of course, knowing Teddy Thunders, I knew that would be impossible. So that's why I placed all my bets on Teddy. So that means you're rich. <laughs> in fact, I'm about the richest man in the whole city. All because I placed my bets on that big dumb blockhead. If that mohawked moron hadn't clobbered you, I wouldn't be rolling in dough today. Oh, Mr. Polaris, you must have won a truckload of money. Even I placed a bet on myself. Listen, kid, there's going to be lots of changes around here. Oh, I think I finally figured it all out. I'm on to you now, you double-crosser. You broke the agreement, Polaris, and now you have to pay the price. Yeah. Turn around and face me, you counterfeit panda. <laughs> now, now, Grizzlepuss, let's just settle down. You listen here, Polaris. You can't fool me. That's the same cheap costume you wore when you broke the contract and entered the ring. And I'm not the only one who knows about your fraud. 
Oh, hey, you hey, know. what are you crazy? Stop yeah. it, that hurts. Okay, so you're not wearing a costume, you're Pancata. Where's Polaris? I'm afraid you missed him. He didn't want any long goodbyes. He was afraid he might get too emotional. What's that? What do you mean, long goodbyes? Where is he? We got business to settle here. Of course. <laughs> Don't get so excited, Mr. G. I assure you, everything continues to be on the up and up, contract-wise. Yeah, well, why can't he tell me himself, huh? Mr. Polaris has decided to retire on all the money he won by placing his bets on Teddy Thunders. You didn't play fair and square. He knew you weren't gonna win because he knew you weren't him. You crooks, you dirty swindler. Hey, hold on now. Let's not be small about it, Grizzlepuss. I didn't play to lose, I played to win. I lost fair and square. But that first fight, you weren't Pancada. You, you were Polaris. You are correct. But everyone thought it was me. So, I thought it only proper to fight Teddy Thunders in the rematch myself. See? But, but where is Polaris? He can't do this to me. We have a legally binding contract, him and I. I'm sure you'll find everything in order, Mr. Grizzlepuss. I promise. New contracts have been drawn up. The boss already signed over his half. But I don't get it. Where the heck is Polaris anyway? I think he said something about a long vacation at Bear Springs Resort or somewhere colder. But who's looking after the joint? You happen to be looking at him. But you aren't a boxer. What do you know about the fight game? Enough to know that I don't care a lick for it. <laughs> but that's all right. I've got other plans for the establishment. Show me your ticket, please, madame. Table 17. Yo, 17! <laughs> Don't worry, Pancata. Everything's going to be fine. Yeah. You can say that again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're yanking my fur again, ain't ya? <laughs>